Ella Norman never met in life. Both lived in North Texas long-term care facilities. And in what has become all too common, they both died from COVID-19. My mom is gone, and she should be right here with us now. Their children have never met either, but they share the anger, the pain of loss, and concern over the care their loved ones receive. I think they were overwhelmed. I think they were understaffed. Carla lived in Monticello West. It bills itself as the go-to senior living community in the Park Cities. But county records now show 20 residents from Monticello West have died of COVID-19. It had 151 residents. That means at least one person has died out of every 10 residents. Ella lived in the Skyline Nursing Center in South Dallas. Skyline, unlike Monticello, accepts Medicare. It received only one of five possible stars in federal government reviews. Skyline has recorded four dozen COVID-19 positive cases. Ella is among four who have died. I couldn't be there with her. I couldn't even tell her that we love her. Statewide, more than 1,500 people have died from COVID-19. Of those, at least 44% have been in long-term care facilities. Texas Governor Greg Abbott has ordered that all residents and staff of nursing homes, roughly 230,000 people, be tested. But that order does not include other types of long-term care facilities, places like Monticello West. If this virus gets a toehold in these facilities, it just sweeps through there and, uh, and it can, can wipe out many people uh, quickly. Ella Norman was a retired chef. She moved into the Skyline Nursing Center about five years ago. Her older sister was already living there. And that's why we felt so comfortable with putting her in the nursing home because she, they was in the same room. So they were roommates. When her sister died, Ella stayed. But early last month, when Calvin Norman couldn't reach his mother, he and his wife went it's looking for like answers. The administrator told them Ella had been taken to the hospital the day before no one had told Calvin. But they didn't call me to let me know my mother had a temperature over 102 degrees. And for a while, it looked like Ella might make it. They uh, called me in the middle of the night and told me uh, my mom had to be rushed to ICU. Mm -hmm. Ella died April 11th. She was 83. I couldn't be there for her. And that is the hardest thing. Over the past two years, Skyline has been fined about $28,000 by federal regulators. In September, prior to the COVID-19 pandemic, federal regulators found Skyline failed to establish and maintain an infection prevention and control program to help prevent the development and transmission of communicable diseases. Skyline didn't respond to our repeated requests for comment but says on its website it follows every guideline provided by the CDC and CMS, including restricting entry and monitoring aggressively our staff and residents for signs and symptoms. She would have lived a good life if, mm -hmm. if this coronavirus didn't get her. Right. And I, and I really hold them responsible for her death. Carla Mackley was a native of Germany, survived World War II, and immigrated to the States with a soldier. She'd go on to become an accomplished photographer. Uh, she was just tough as nails, but a lady at the same time. Several years ago, Kate Mackley settled her mom into Monticello West's memory care facility. They said it was the, the Highland Park alumni reunion. <laughs> I don't think that was wrong. In photos from Monticello West's Facebook page, you can see the facility hosted a lot of social events. Kate believes the club-like atmosphere helped spur its crisis. They were slow to shut down the main dining room. Um, I know my mother's doctor was furious about that. Monticello West management said in a March 19th letter it was ending communal dining and postponing all group activities. Then, just a few days later, on March 23rd, the facility was notified of its first positive case. The next day, Dallas County Judge Clay Jenkins' stay-at-home order took effect. By April 7th, Kate says her mom was dehydrated, confused, and crying out in pain. I said when I called and said, my mom's not doing well, 
please check on her? Um, they really didn't take me seriously. Kate said she told Monticello West she wanted her mother tested. The nurse said no, that at, at Monticello, that the, the direction she was given from the director was that no one was to be tested there. That same day, she was rushed to the hospital. A test showed Carla Mackley had COVID-19. She died April 12th. She was 93. She went through the end of her life alone, which is not what, not at all what any of us would have expected. In a statement to WFA, Monticello West director called the deaths heartbreaking and said the facility has seen residents and employees test positive despite our adherence to the latest guidance from all local, state, and federal health authorities. As the COVID-19 crisis continues statewide, long-term care facility regulators are discovering significant problems that could help spread the disease. On an April 17th webinar, a top regulatory official tells facilities that some aren't screening people as they enter. Others are letting six staff members work. So they may have um, fever or they may not, um, when they are screened, they may not meet all of the screening criteria to be cleared to come in, but they're still being allowed to work. A spokeswoman for the Texas Health and Human Services Commission told us the agency is actively investigating and closely monitoring all long-term care facilities in the state that have reported one or more positive cases of COVID-19. The families of Carla and Ella want those in power to remember the faces of their dead mothers. Now they're dealing with the, con with the consequences of being slow in terms of their initial response. We entrust our loved ones with these nurses' home. To me, they wasn't ready for it. In Dallas, I'm Tanya Iser.